Exercise number 3, a disturbing goodbye a powerful, but let's admit it disturbing exercise you can perform to improve the key relationships in your life is to imagine it's the last time you were seeing the other person. As morbid as it sounds, sometimes I remind myself that every important person in my life can disappear from it literally overnight. Being in the wrong place at the wrong time is all it takes to lose a life. Would I really want our last interaction to be negative? Would I really get angry over a little, insignificant thing? Would I really want to waste time arguing instead of enjoying each other's company? This practice will help you stop taking people for granted and that will help your relationships flourish because whenever you'll slip back into negative. Communication habits, imagining it's the last time you're seeing another person will shake you back into the realization that things are temporary and remind you how fragile life is. It all sounds dire and grim to think about negative events, but it doesn't mean that if you want to follow stoicism, you need to be fatalistic or pessimistic. It's not about living your life as if it were a life sentence of suffering. Rather, it's about accepting the world how it is, so you can maintain good spirits even when things aren't going well. In essence, stoicism is about maximizing your happiness, no matter what the circumstances may be. When you land in trouble or suffer a terrible blow, espousing the belief that everything is temporary will help you handle it more quickly. After all, as the old adage says, this too shall pass. You might be in debt today, but if you'll work on eliminating it, eventually you'll be free of it. It's not a permanent condition that's beyond your control. Likewise, a success can be also short-lived, so when you live according to this philosophy, you'll be more watchful to keep the good things in your life instead of resting on your laurels. Exercise number 4, what do you take for granted? It's easy to believe that the things you have in your life will be there forever. This erroneous belief can make you complacent and consequently increase the risk of losing those things. Spend a few minutes making a list of things you take for granted. For example, you could write one. My partner point two. My business point three. My health point four. Hot running water point five. Electricity point six. A comfortable bed to sleep on point seven. A smartphone. Now, focus on the relationships and achievements on your list. Ask yourself if you're indeed paying enough attention to them. Taking those things for granted can make you stop putting enough effort to maintain them. This can increase the risk of losing those things, and when it does happen, it produces a shock that often feels like it couldn't have been prevented. After all, you thought it was yours forever, so how in the world could you have ever predicted you would lose it? Take action today, even if it feels like everything is perfect. Make an extraordinary effort to not merely maintain them, but also to take the relationships and achievements in your life to the next level. Surprise your partner by planning a romantic weekend getaway to a cabin in the mountains. Resist being complacent in your business by taking a big risk to expand it to another market or by making some improvements in your daily processes. Even if you feel perfectly healthy, do blood work to make sure everything is fine. And even if it is, make an effort to further improve your diet and fitness levels. Dealing with a failure you couldn't prevent, quick recap 1. The first common type of failure is failure that you can't prevent. In contrast to other failures, as the name implies, you usually can't prevent it. Fortunately, there's a lot you can do to handle it better. The most powerful approach is adopting the philosophy of stoicism and the stance that if something just beyond your control, you need to accept it and move on point two. Practice acceptance by deliberately introducing uncomfortable changes not resisting your emotions, venting or denial only makes things worse, Andre minding yourself that some things are not up to you, and it should actually become a source of comfort for you because the matter is settled and you're free to move on point three. Practicing misfortune by envisioning negative events or creating uncomfortable circumstances is a good way to increase the control you have over your own emotions because ultimately, it's one of the few things you do control. Point four. Lastly, remember that everything is temporary. Embracing this philosophy can help you in two ways, you'll stop taking things for granted and put in more effort to maintain them, and you'll get better at handling blows. After all everything is temporary and so is pain.